My name is Muhammad Aya and I would like to talk about web development. What is web development? Well, it's not, not that complex as it's basically a mix of languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create the web. Um, today, I'm going to teach you how to make your first web page and then slowly continue on to more advanced parts like CSS attributes or other things. Now, let's get started. Again, I say you need an ID or you can just simply use a notepad and create any folder you like like HTML and create a new file. Let's call it index.html. Well, index.html is a special file name as it refers to the index page, the main page. So that's what we're going to do with it. Before typing our code, we need to specify this. We need to type in that side, HTML. This will make it so, so the browser knows that this is HTML, not XML. Because HTML is also built on XML. Now, let's begin with elements. Elements are how you define the structure of HTML. You can attach scripts, you can attach rule style sheets, and more. Let's start with the basic HTML. That's why everything starts up. Now, we need to define the head, which is the metadata of the page. So we're going to try type the title, for example, like it's going to be a document for them. There's more for advanced ones, like the meta, which basically, like, for example, UTF-8. This one looks like this too. The UTF-8 character set. Now, the main stuff are in the body tag. This is where everything goes in. So, for example, if we want to take a large piece of text, you need to type in H followed by the side. H, the lower the number, the more higher it is. So we'll try H1. Now you have to run this. Well, you don't actually have to run it. Just open it in the browser and welcome to document. Now we want to customize it. Like for example, add, make it centered. To make it centered, you need a style sheet. So let's create a new style sheet called style.css. Style.css. This is where our rule style sheet, the way you define the page. So let's go so we'll link it. So you have to type in this link URL is style sheet. That's what we want to import. It's right, which means this style.css. Now it's embedded into our page. Now, what you want to do is center, right? So I'm going to type in link in center. And now align, text align center. This will, will assign class center to be centered. So now, uh, if we refresh the page, nothing will happen. We won't center. This is because we didn't put the Class, so class equals center. And now, if we try this one more time, it works. Now, what if we want to change the font? Well, same thing. CSS has so many attributes you can tinker with. So let's try like this. If you want to specify a tag, you just have to type in thing of the tag in the body or the font family. Let's do um area. As you can see, the font has changed. Or well, you can also specify multiple fonts. For example, Arial, Sega, Oli, 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 and Tisha Marks. Or maybe Consistent, which is basically, which is basically the system and user interface. Again, you have to separate this with Hit commas. Now you can see it hasn't changed. So we can change this to something like the dam. You can see it changed. That's how you design this. What what about the font size? Well it's easy. Font size and there is press presets like like super small, super large, or maybe the X large, which is this. For example, if I just type in this, it 
it makes it really so big. What I have to do is customize it for example if I take them 12 pieces, which means a bottom size 12.